On July 11, the Labor Department released data showing that the year-over-year -year growth rate of the CPI for June slowed from 3.3% in May to 3%, below the expected 3.1%. This is the lowest growth rate since June of last year, and it marked a 0.1% decrease month-over-month, -month, the first negative growth since May 2020. The core CPI, which excludes food and energy prices, rose 3.3% year-over-year, below the expected 3.4%. The month-over-month -month growth was 0.1%, the smallest increase since August 2021. This unexpected slowdown in inflation has injected confidence into the market, indicating comprehensive cooling of inflation. In detail, the inflation rates for both goods and services decreased year-over-year, -year, with goods prices showing a record low since 2020, dropping 1.8% year-over-year. Core CPI's housing inflation also accelerated its slowdown. Year-over-year, year, housing inflation in June decreased to 5.16% from May's 5.41%, the lowest level since May 2022. Rent inflation rose 5.07% year-over-year, down from May's 5.3%, the lowest level since April 2022. Following the data release, Treasury yields plunged. The latest yield on the 10-year Treasury hit a three-month low. The dollar and gold also showed corresponding reactions. However, due to market adjustments, recently strong U.S. tech giants like NVIDIA, Apple, and Microsoft saw significant declines. Meanwhile, small-cap stocks, which had been languishing, experienced a retaliatory surge, with the Russell 2000 small-cap index jumping 3.6% in one day. In contrast, the Nasdaq dropped 2%, and the S&P 500 fell 1.4%. This day's performance marked the largest single-day performance gap between the Russell 2000 and the Nasdaq since 1986. The market raised the probability of the Federal Reserve cutting rates in September from about 70% before the data release to over 90%. Only 7.3% of the market believes there will be no rate cut. Additionally, the market expects two to three rate cuts for the entire year, with a 46.6% probability of three rate cuts. Economists and market observers have expressed strong confidence in the Federal Reserve cutting rates, with JP Morgan moving their expected rate cut from November to September. Amid all the calls for rate cuts, it seems only a matter of time. However, political uncertainty could complicate the anticipated rate cut. Some reports suggest that if the Federal Reserve opts to cut rates in September, it could be perceived as a favor to current President Biden. If Trump wins the November election, it might trigger political retaliation. Despite Jerome Powell being initially appointed as Fed chair by Trump and often described as a registered Republican, Trump still views Powell's decisions as politically charged. Congressional Republicans have also warned Powell against cutting rates before the November election. House Financial Services Committee Chairman Henry said, Everyone wants a rate cut, but I think a September rate cut would be seen as political. Fed Chair Powell insists that decisions will be strictly based on data and economic outlook, not political factors.